Okay, for those, uh, what do you call that, <clears throat> people that are uh, into uh, collision coughs, I'm one of them. I'm going to be reviewing the difference, uh, at least the basic differences between a 100 round Chinese drum and a 75 round Romanian drum. So <clears throat> you can uh, at least visually uh, r recognize the um, uh, some of the visual cue cues to uh, Should I really do this video? It's going to be uh, tripping over my words. Nope, you're going to get the raw, uncut, unpolished, mumbling, uh, flying by the seat of my pants review. Some of these people, they uh, run a big deal on their... Uh, uh, you know graphics and wording and stuff my videos are just going to be plain and basic okay enough talk you don't want to be listening to me talk you want to know what the hell I'm trying to show here okay so to business wow I took a minute and 30 seconds to waste time okay so right here this is a Romanian uh, 75 round uh, 7.62 by 39 millimeter uh, Kalishnikov, known as AK-47, uh, <clears throat> drum, okay? Uh, you'll find other videos on YouTube how to load them, and, and it's sort of complicated. I'm still working on it myself, how to do it. But it's got the key winder. Uh, it's got a uh, place to put your lanyard or your... Uh, your uh, attachment point to carry it and like that uh, okay here oh let's get back to basics I got this from the uh, sportman's guide uh, bought several because they tend to come in spurts uh, and then they they dry up, <clears throat> and there you go. I think I paid about a uh, oh, was it about seventy seventy five something like that for it? About seventy five smackers. Okay. Whoop. And this was uh, I think twenty eleven when I bought it. This is a. Uh, a 100 round Chinese drum. Okay, these were imported a while ago. I bought this in uh, 2004 or 5. Uh, I've had it since then. Uh, that, fine, that fine, shiny, uh, strange appearance. I sprayed it with a uh, high test uh, barbecue paint. I, I wanted to somewhat preserve the uh, finish. You know, you go through phases as you grow up, you know, you, you try dumb things and you try smart things and sometimes the dumb things stick with you. Maybe I wasn't so smart to spray it with the uh, barbecue paint, but uh, I may it didn't hurt it. I didn't spray the inside, mess with the clockwork and all that. Um, you're going to have the wind up deal and guess what? You have the uh, attachment point just like previously shown on the uh, Romanian. I I don't know exactly for sure, but I believe the Romanian is a copy of the Chinese uh, uh, drum. <clears throat> this run, uh, this was $300. It was new when I bought it. I bought it off, uh, um, I think it was Gun Trader or something like that. It's been a while, but they pretty much dried up on these supply. I think I think they uh, became banned from importation or something like that. I I really don't know, on top of my head. But I got it when I could. So uh, they're very similar. What I'll do is do a 
a side by side comparison for you. You'll see that the Chinese one is bigger, costs more, harder to find. But do you see the wind up? On the Romanian, there's two holes there. On the Chinese, there's no holes. That's a good way to tell the difference if you don't know the sizes. And what I should have had is a ruler here so I can give you the, uh, the inches. <clears throat> but woulda, coulda, shoulda, right? I'm still having a uh, uh, kind of a uh, raw operation here. So anyway, uh, I'm looking at the camera so my movements are directly opposite of what I think they are. So there you go. Uh, I'll put the uh, Romanian in front of the Chinese and you'll see the, another difference in size. That's with them roughly together at the bottom there. About like that. So they're very similar, but now you know the, the trick to eyeball them if you're at a gun show or something like that. The Chinese doesn't, the, wait, the Chinese does not have holes in the wind-up key, the Romanian does. The Chinese is 100 round, the Romanian is 75 round, but other than that, they're functionally very similar. So I hope that clears up some mystery. Now there is another kind of Romanian. It's a totally different design. I've got some of those too. Uh, but what do you call them? You know what? You wait there. I'm going to dig one out. That way this video will be complete and I can rest my case on the on the, all this deal. So go get some get a snack or something or uh Busy yourself for a minute. I'll go dig out one of my other Romanian versions, and we'll have all three versions of the drum for Klishnikov, making it a very definitive video on this subject, at least until someone else has a better one. Or maybe they already do, and I don't know about it. But uh, go busy yourself for a moment, and I'll be right back. Like I said, I don't edit my videos, so unfortunately, I can't pause it and clip past this point, so just enjoy yourself for a second. Okay, time's up. All right. Here's the other style of Romanian. Okay, it's it's totally different concept. You've got a uh, you've got a uh, <coughs> lever here that you uh, manipulate. <coughs> Tell you what, there'll be other videos somewhere on YouTube that will tell you how to manipulate this. But you'll notice this is a, it's a little bit different uh, angle to it.
Let's see. Let's do a comparison here. Both these are 75 round. Both these are Romanian. But you'll notice that, let's see. One's about 90 degrees up and down. This one is, right? Okay, you see that? This Romanian uh, tilted one is slightly uh, tilted, right? So that's a another way you can ch tell the difference. Uh, this, this one has the, the holy key, right? This one has a thumb lever. Uh, the argument is uh, the holy key one's a better one to have. It's easier to load. Uh, it's <clears throat> uh, you can store it without any spring tension and save the spring. The one with the hand lever, uh, you've got to pretty much load it and fire it because uh, there's the spring is always tensioned up when it's uh, loaded. Thus weakening it, um, at least argument is, uh, over long periods of time stored um, un un under the conditions of being loaded. Uh, so both of these are Romanian, both are 75 rounds. I believe this is the older version, and this is the upgrade. The upgrade was a, it was a Romanian copy of the Chinese design. So there you go, see? We copied Chinese from the uh, Chinese... Uh, technology in the form of gunpowder and it appears uh, copying them in the form of uh, designing uh, say five round versions of the 100 round uh, drum magazine so everybody dogs are Chinese for copying stuff well occasionally we copy them too or we meaning what the non-Chinese copying the Chinese, or the Chinese copying the non-Chinese, right? So anyway, there you go. See, you gotta forgive me. I'm a little tired, zonked. I'm barely making it. You know, I'm on a little caffeine jittered type deal. I got other projects going on. So, so uh, <clears throat> to review, we have this one, which is the least desirable. Uh, I think I paid about 50 for that from uh, Cheaper Than Dirt, something like that, 50 smackers. This is the least desirable, uh, according to most folks. That's a 75 round Romanian with the, uh, with the thumb lever. It's the most cumbersome, supposedly, and the most uh, harder to load and whatever. Next up. Uh, you have the medium, which is a uh, 75 round Romanian, easy to load. Uh, other options you get, but the capacity isn't as high as a, uh, at least collectively, the 100 round Chinese, which is 100 rounds, has all the options you want, but at the same time, there's a lot of weight. Uh, to your weapon when you when you install that so um, you gotta figure out what you want to do uh, the one thing I need to mention with these drums is it uh, lowers the uh, profile of your weapon so you're able to actually uh, fire from uh, the prone position which it which to non-military folks that's firing from laying down uh, a lot of AKs, you see them with a banana style 30 round uh, and maybe 40 round uh, b banana style magazines <clears throat> or clips, if street vernacular. Uh, that makes it hard to fire from uh, a prone position, you know, laying down because it gets in the way. The, uh, the advantage of a drum is it lowers the profile of the weapon so you can actually fire. Uh, from your probe position um, quite a bit easier so we're going up on 15 minutes on this video I hope you understand some of the differences big dog middle dog uh, cheap dog or 
uh, crippled dog or um, difficult dog there we go so there you go have a good old time hope this is, clears up a lot of stuff well we're going on 16 minutes now so I might as well just jibber jabber now you may ask why the hell do you have all those well I may uh, originally I was a Californian uh, born and raised they banned the ownership of these type uh, implements uh, anything over 10 rounds is, I think, a felony in California. So I moved up here to Washington where the laws are a little bit uh, better, you know, uh, if in the pursuit of happiness, you know, the Constitution. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. You know, I got more liberty up here in Washington than I do in California. And so, like anybody that's been uh, deprived of something, when they finally get a hold of it, they overdo it a little bit. So there you go. And uh, it's always a good investment to have. Um, when you're at the range or whatever, you know, firing your weapon with all the safety uh, things in mind and, and whatnot, it's it's less hassle to reload and, and whatnot. There's other reasons, you know, I'm probably better than me. So, excuse me. There you go. Uh, these magazines are compatible with just about all the AK platforms. Also the RPG. No, skip that. RPK. Okay. Big difference. RPK. Line of uh, uh, squad support weapons from the Soviet uh, bloc. Um, do you think I've talked enough about this? Are you actually holding in there? This is like a mini-series, you know. So anyway, I'm coming up on 17 minutes. You have a good old time. Hope you learn a little bit. And I will talk to you later and watch my other videos. Uh, unless you have something better to do.